Assalamu alaikum welcome to new podcast here 31 important SAQ and Viva question and answer discuss in this podcast let's start the first question what are the factor which protect the spinal cord the answer bony case of the vertebral canal spinal meninges hydrostatic cushion of the cerebrospinal fluid number two what are the factor which keep the spinal cord in position rostral continuity with the medulla oblongata caudal fixation with phylum terminally and corda equina ligamentum denticulatum third question name the artery supply of spinal cord anterospinal artery posterior spinal artery segmental spinal branch form deep cervical artery ascending cervical artery intercostal artery lumbar artery segmental spinal branch form one anterior tongue and two posterior spinal trunk and which along the root of the spinal nerve give rise to the anterior and posterior reticular artery fourth question name the nuclei of the cerebellum nucleus fastigi globosus ambuliformis denticulus fifth question name the nuclei of the facial nerve motor nucleus nucleus of tractus solitarius superior salivatory nucleus lacrimatory nucleus Sixth question. Name the nuclei of the trisiminal nerve. Motor nucleus, main sensory nucleus, mesencephalic nucleus, spinal nucleus. Seven number question. Name the nuclei of the glossopharyngeal nerve. Nucleus ambiguous, inferior salivatory nucleus, nucleus of tractus solitarius. Eight. Number question. Name the nuclei of the vagus nerve. Nucleus ambiguous. Dorsal nucleus of vagus. Nucleus of the tractus solitarius. Number nine. Name the basal nuclei of the cerebrum. The corpus statum. Caudate nucleus. Lentiform nucleus. Globus pallidus. Putamen. Amygdaloid body. Plus term. Number 10 question. What is the peculiarity of the vertebral venous plexus? Give it applied importance. Vertebral venous plexus is made up of bulbless network of vein which communicate above with the intracranial venous sinuses and below with the pelvic vein, the portal vein and the cable system of vein. As the vein are bulbless and blood can flow in either direction cell form pelvic abdominal thoracic and base tumor enter the venous system may ultimately lodge in the vertebrae the spinal cord the skull and the brain thus making it possible the spread of tumors or infection number 11 specify the origin and termination of the medial lemniscus. Second order neuron line in the nucleus gracilis and nucleus cuneatus give off internal acute fiber which cross to the opposite side through the sensory decussation and run upward as the medial lemniscus. The medial lemniscus end in the posterior lateral ventral nucleus of the thalamus. Twelve number question. Enumerate the content of the vertebral canon epidural space, dura mater, subdural space, subarachnoid mater, arachnoid mater, pia mater, spinal cord. Number 13. Enumerate the content of epidural space loose cellular tissue, semi liquid fluid, fat, spinal artery internal venous vertebral venous plexus question number 13 enumerate the content of the epidural space 
loose irregular tissue, semi liquid flat spinal artery, internal vertebral venous plexus. 14 number question denumerate the content of the intervertebral foramen and of nerve root, dorsal root ganglia, the nerve tongue, the beginning of dorsal and ventral rami, spinal artery, intervertebral vein. 15 question name the three intercommunicating subdivision of vertebral venous plexus, epidural plexus plexus within the vertebral bodies, external vertebral plexus, anterior part and posterior part. 16. What are the ligamentum denticulatum? What is their function? They are coronally oriented plyal sheath extending bilaterally from the side of the spinal cord between the ventral and dorsal root of the spinal nerve. They are attached to the durameter of the durameter for the better anchor of spinal cord. 17. What is phenom terminally? Mention its beginning, termination, and parts. Phenom terminalis is a non nervous filament thread, basically composed of pyometer, is beginning from the tip of the conus medullaris of the spinal cord and finally bent with the peristium of the dorsal surface of the first coccygeal vertebra. Proximal 15 mm of phylum terminally within the dural sheath is known as the phylum terminally internum and distal 5 mm outside the dural sheath is called as phylum terminally externum. 18. Enumerate the artery taking part in the formation of the circle of Willis, anterior communicating artery, anterior cerebral artery, internal carotid artery, posterior communicating artery, proximal segmental, internal carotid artery, posterior communicating artery, proximal segment of the both posterior cerebral artery. 19. Name the vein of the cerebrum. Superficial vein, superior cerebral vein, superficial middle cerebral vein, inferior cerebral vein, deep vein, internal cerebral vein, basal vein, gate cerebral vein. 20. Enumerate subarachnoid cistern. Cerebellum medullary cistern, cisterna ambience, interpeduncular cistern, pontal cistern. Charismatic system. 21. Give the peculiarity of the olfactory system. Number 1. Bipolar primary olfactory neuron undergo continuous turnover by the cell division from stem cell of the olfactory epithelium. Number 2. Second order of the sensory neuron in the olfactory system reach the cerebral cortex without relaying in the thalamus. Olfactory system is projected to the higher, highest cortical center ipsilaterally except the minor decussation through the anterior commissure. 22. Give the peculiarities of the optic nerve. It is not a peripheral nerve but a prolongation of the white matter of the brain. Number 2. It is covered by the three meninges of the brain with subdural and subarachnoid space. Number 3. Myelination of the optic nerve is derived from the oligodendral glia and not from the swan cell. Number 4. Pile sheath project into the substance of the nerve as numerous septa. 23. What are the manifestation of complete unilateral lesion of the oculomotor nerve? Tosis, external squint, dilated and fixed pupil, loss of accommodation, exanthelmas, diplopia. 24. Enumerate the commissural fiber of the cerebrum. Corpus callosum, anterior commissure, posterior commissure, hippocampal commissure, habenucular commissure. 25. Enumerate association fiber of the cerebrum. Long association fiber, a. 
Cisnangulum, Uncinate fasciculus, superior in inferior longitudinal fasciculus, fronto occipital fasciculus, and short association fiber. 27. Enumerate the fiber entering the inferior cerebellar peduncle. Posterior spinous cerebral tract, cuno cerebellar tract, olivocerebellar fiber, reticulo cerebellar fiber, vestibulo cerebellar fiber, anterior external arcuate fiber. 27. Enumerate the fiber leaving the inferior cerebellar peduncle. Cerebello olivary fiber, cerebello vestibular fiber, cerebello reticular fiber, cerebello spinal fiber. 28. Enumerate the fiber entering the superior cerebral peduncle. Pantal spino cerebellar tract, superior spino cerebellar tract, tracto cerebellar fiber, rubro cerebellar fiber, trisimino cerebellar fiber, hypothalamo cerebellar fiber. 29. Enumerate the fiber leaving the superior cerebral peduncle. Cerebellar rubral fiber, cerebellar thalamic fiber, cerebellar reticular fiber, cerebellar olivary fiber, cerebellar nuclear fiber. 30. Give the boundary of the central part of the lateral ventricle of the brain. Roof, trunk of the corpus callosum, medial wall, septum pellucidum, and the body of the fornix, floor, superior surface of the thalamus medially and caudate nucleus laterally. Between the two structures there are the stria terminalis and the thalamostraid vein. 31. Give the boundary of the anterior horn of the lateral ventricle of the brain. Roof, anterior part of the trunk of the corpus callosum, floor medially by the head of the caudate nucleus, partly by the upper surface of the rostrum of the corpus callosum medial wall septum pellucidum. So this is all about SAQ and fiber question of the brain and eyeball part 1. If you like this video please press the like button, press subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.